All right, batch box systems have had some serious problems in the past. I mean, they're wonderful. They're the future of rocket mass heaters. But the problem is, is that we would spend two days building a batch box system only to spend three to six more days building a proper door. And without a proper door, they're terrible. So the amazing thing right here, this, this incredible invention, and this is a combination of donkey and mud working together, is this simple little bit of cob complete with a glass door. Now, there's the problem of the batch box system. We see the smoke coming out. That's Opened awful. it at the wrong time. Well, I I it, it dry, I don't like to ever see that happen. And with J tube systems, most of our J tube systems don't have that. But the J tube systems have been our standard for for so long because they've worked so well. And and the batch box has so much promise for the future. Um, and it's got a couple of little issues. The number one issue is the door. But I think this innovators event. I mean, this is such a it's like, it's so simple, it's embarrassing. Why didn't we think of this sooner? And so it's great to bring in uh, new innovators every year and, and have a greater exchange. And then we come up with simple, obvious solutions. Why didn't we do that sooner? Well, I guess most of the best solutions are going to be like that. You know, you go looking for like, it's because you've been stuck in this high-tech world. You're stuck in a high-tech paradigm here with batch rockets up to this moment. And what the only thing that I've really added or taken away from this is I've taken it out of that high tech paradigm and brought it back down to a level that anybody can handle, right? So you don't have to buy a bunch of fancy high tech expensive stuff. Right. Um, it works great. And yesterday we were um, running, a, we had a testo analyzer stuck up this flue, and we were getting an average of 92% efficiency off of this stove. Right? That's our average. It was jumping up to 95, 96%, and then it was dropping down to like what I would feed it, and it was in just coals. It was going down as low as 88, 80% efficiency. So 80% efficiency is the lowest numbers I was reading off of this during a fire. Which is still better than most conventional wood stoves. Now, oh, yeah. here's the real test for a rocket mass heater. So conventional wood stoves can't touch this, where a rocket mass heater dares travel, and that is you have a fire in the evening, how do the residents in here feel in the morning? They are not cold in the morning. Warm and toasty! That's what he's saying! <laughs> yeah, warm and toasty. The thing is just, it just holds on to heat all night long. And in the morning, a little bit of fire, kind of get it back up a little bit, and away you go. So, yep, a little, morning in the a little fire in the morning and a larger fire in the evening. Heats for 24 hours. Brilliant. This is amazing. And we're in a very tiny house. This is this is an extremely tiny house. I think I'm going to say 7 feet by 12? So yeah, something like that. Maybe a little longer, but worse than being a tiny house, this thing is like not insulated. I Oh, you can, you can see, see the, ground. the ground right through the floor, yeah. cracks in the floor. There's there's holes in the walls where I can see light in this can, little thing. I can see dirt down. I can see the ground. I'm like looking like this and I can see the the ground like is about a foot and a half down. See, that's our special, it's, it's, that's the special dirt. air intake coming from the outside oh, okay. for the stove. You know, dirt, don't, dirt, don't mess gravel. with that. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.